By now, I'm sure all of you have heard the news that Frontierland and Magic Kingdom will be receiving some large changes, in the form of two new Cars attractions, and a land themed to villains. To realize this, Disney will be sacrificing the land currently occupied by the Rivers of America and Tom Sawyer Island, a section of the park that has existed since opening day. While reactions have been mixed, I will analyze what Disney has showcased in their announcement, and while it might be difficult to see due to the initial shock, this might be the start to an incredible new chapter for the park. My goal is to be as objective as possible. Am I sorry that we're losing the river? Yes. Is the river and Tom Sawyer Island incredibly popular? No. But it adds an incredible ambiance to the surrounding area. It's peaceful and relaxing, and one of the only places in the park you can escape the crowds, while also being a lot of fun for kids, giving them the opportunity to run around and explore. While current generations have grown nostalgic for the river and island, I see no reason why future generations won't grow nostalgic for cars and villains. In fact, we've seen this before. Look at Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland, an incredible mine train roller coaster I have a lot of nostalgia for. While this attraction is beloved today, it took the spot of a ride Walt Disney himself oversaw, Mine Train Through Nature's Wonderland, a scenic train ride that took you into the wild desert, and in the years to follow, the Rainbow Caverns. For decades, guests grew in appreciation and nostalgia for this attraction, and I imagine quite a few were upset when they ripped it out. We might be nostalgic for the older experiences, future guests will grow nostalgic for the newer ones. While I'm sad we're losing the Liberty Bell and Island, it appears part of the river will survive. From Disney's perspective, why keep this when you can have this? Do I think Cars as an IP works in Frontierland? Not on the surface. If done correctly, this could work. Now follow me here. Let's take the concept art and remove the cars. Stay with me. What do you see? Cascading waterfalls, large rocky terrain, a giant mountain, and towering trees. A nature's wonderland. From what we can tell, it looks like they're keeping the Cars characters to a minimum. Sure, apart from a few areas, the focus seems to be the environment. A scenic yet thrilling adventure through the wilderness. The inclusion of the Cars IP is only meant for marketing. Again, I'm sad we're losing Rivers of America, but part of me is hopeful this is the beginning of something spectacular. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, why not subscribe? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a great day. Thank you.